Hello and welcome to my next tutorial and we're going back to the old quirky houses they seem to be very very popular so I'm going to do a little uh, quirky house scene with a couple of people at this time now first of all I'm just going to wa wash my paper with a, a clean wash of water just the top part there I tell you what, let's go for it all. Let's let's go all of it. Let's do all of it. Come on, let's go mad. Let's put a lovely mood in this picture. And mood is, I think, it's probably the one of the most important um, aspects of a painting. Well, by the way, this this piece of paper that I'm using is um, Mockingford. Mockingford 425 GSM uh, that's the one there and I've just chopped it down I've had some full size imperial and I've chopped it down um, into into four just so we can do these little tutorials now we've wet it I'm going to now it's the time to choose your mood so if we have like a bit of a oh like a, a morning scene so we're going to have um, a little bit of um, sky colour first and I think I'm going to put a bit of yellowy orange with it as well at the bottom. Let's see how it goes. You can always change it. So I'm using ultramarine blue at the top there and a little bit of cobalt blue mixed together. There we go. You can see the cobalt shining through there, can't you? A bit of ultramarine now. I'm letting that run down because I like this little uh, granulated effect there. I'm going to bring that down a wee bit. Right. Now with a clean brush, I'm going to go into this yeah, like a yellowy colour, yellowy orange. Let's put a bit of stronger yellow there. and we're going to a nice bit of cadmium orange there as well and let's fetch it right the way down now and use my clean brush just to separate that band a little bit bring it down and a bit of this color there a little bit of orange and yellow that's quite heavy banding that I'm not too not too pleased with that so I'm going to get a bit more ultramarine blue and fetch it over here a wee bit just to change that band a little bit right now there's certain bits of this I want to keep very light and um, mainly in the front of these houses so I'm just going to get a handkerchief and just lift some of that colour off there we go all the parts that I want to be nice and light I lift off there we go now with my size 16 a scold brush just damp it just to the edge there just to take away those harsh edges that my handkerchief has has created so I'm just gonna pull those down to those areas there and lift off those bits there it's just a work in progress really There we are. That's alright. I think that will have a nice mood about it. Now then. This bottom part here. I really like to have a darker part at the bottom than I do at the top. So, um, using this same brush. I'm going to get a bit of... I think it's... Queen Acid Roll Burnt Orange 
for the bottom part there. Quinacivo burnt orange. And now a little bit of dark colour. There you go, that's a little mixture of um, ultramarine blue and pinch green on that side. So I see it's running down there again, so I'm just going to gently lift these bits off. See, I quite like this, the way it's running down, it's creating its own little, it's creating its own little bit of mood at the bottom there. And that's fine. That's just fine. Alright, I just want that bit off the bottom there. And let's wait until that dries now. Okay, so welcome back, and that's dried. Nice and bone dry now, and it's dried nicely. I'm quite pleased with that. Now, I've made a little mixture of ultramarine blue and a little bit of rose opera for the background now i want to do that but i'm going to just test it out there on that i think that's a little bit on the heavy side so i'm going to pull that off there and make my mixture a little bit a little bit weaker so that's probably better so i'm just going to do some tree shapes in the background here and some very basic tree shapes some nice big bushy trees here just moving from side to side and bring that shape all the way over here now and again add a little bit of water to it just to uh, make some areas lighter than other areas and bring that down now remember we've got a roof of a house there so that's where all that that painting should end there and we'll fetch up a bit over there just to just to make it look like it's going at the back of this this house this chimney pot there and we'll bring that over here a bit more of the paint over there and whenever you want to make it a little bit lighter just add some water to it and I think what we'll do is we'll fetch it over here now tricky is not to make things right at that level of that chimney pot because it will confuse the eye so make it either above it or below it so I'm making this a little bit below it there we go and so we'll just fetch a few Just a little bit more over there. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Just to lighten it in different areas. Now, with a bit of water in my mixture here. Now, I want it to kind of fade off at the top. So I'm just going to get a little bit of clean water. And just wet that top part there okay and now go back to that mixture and match it around there and Bring it down here, and now I'm going to add a little bit of water as we get further down, just to lighten that mixture in the background. So it appears there's a little bit of haze between us and the church that we painted. Just let that dry a minute. 
as we move on to this part here. All right, so that's our that's our background, our distant background sorted out. So we need to let that dry before we move into the next part a little bit further towards us. Okay, so back in five. Okay, so that's all dry to the touch, and we're going to start working on some of these roofs and chimney pots. So we want some lovely rich colours for these roofs. We've got some oranges and some um and it's going to get some opera rose with a mixture of burnt, um, ultramarine blue and let's have a nice burnt sienna as well let's have a nice burnt sienna to go with that all right a little bit of blue at the other side Right, so we've got a nice mixture of three colours. We've got the burnt sienna, we've got the orange, we've got the uh, mixture of opera rose with, uh, with uh, ultramarine, ultramarine blue and just a straight bit of ultramarine blue. Let's start with the darkest colour at the top and from the left hand side. So we'll do a couple of chimney pots there. I'm just ready to go down on the chimney stacks. Leave that for a minute, and the same with that one here. And we have to decide which side the, the the light is coming from. I think we'll have it coming from this angle. So, we'll fetch this down a wee bit up that side, and over here, and we'll bring that there. All right. I'm going to lift some of this excess off fairly quickly I must, must add but now let's add a little bit of the burnt sienna to the bottom of that part there and to the bottom of this and to the bottom of that we should have a nice graduated change of colour between those two now I'm going for the orange, a straightforward orange. Bring that down there and then just pull that down. And we can pull that down there. There we go. Alright, let's get this beautiful orange roof there. Just contrast those colours. It's all about getting the colours all contrasting each other now so we we'll have this lovely rich orange and i think i'll put a little bit of straightforward opera rose or rose opera whichever which way you want to see it a bit more orange now just to blend those colors together just there bit of burnt sienna at the bottom I think see nice and simple simple shapes here we go now let's dip into this bluey colour for the bottom there just Just so add a nice darker area to this side. There we go, now look at that. Now a mixture of that blue with the let's fetch some from marine blue and rose opera. Let's fetch a bit more up there. Just working on it and going backwards and just getting this these shades in there. These are going to 
but a lot lighter <coughs> so it's no no biggie let's work on this other one and we'll just and the birds are singing outside God's in his heaven and all's well with the world I love spring just getting to those early parts of it now early months of spring it's absolutely beautiful it's full of optimism because we know we've even got an extra nice month coming after this or an extra nice season coming after this season summer hey I'll be down at that harbour with my easel and I'll be painting some boats probably little harbour scenes life don't get better than that now I'll move on to this roof here I'll fetch it in front of that house there all the way down there Boom, 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 boom. Let's go for this lovely uh, colour at the top here again. And don't forget which side the sun is shining on. That's a little bit of just orange in there. <laughs> Down to that area, a nice big chimney stack like this. And we'll go over to the other roof now. See, they don't take long, these pictures. A nice bit of just straightforward orange. Cadmium orange, I always cadmium orange. stack up there we'll work backwards on this one normally I'd do the chimney stack first but since I've already got orange loaded on my brush and I'm, I'm a typical tight Lancashire man oh yeah don't like to waste the colour okay so we'll have a bit of opera rose I think back about here somewhere And, I don't know, just quite different areas there. There we go. Let's let that dry for a bit. Hey, welcome back. As you can see, I've, I've rubbed out some of my uh, lines here so I could get a better view of how that uh, church looks. And it really does look like it's vanishing into the, into the mist that's above it and also it's lightening down the bottom which i, I really like that um various different areas where the pencil marks are at this stage it's it's okay to rub out those pencil marks um if it helps you to see your your painting easier right now then i'm gonna just take a look at some of these these trees at the back with my, with, I'm, I'm using my uh, size 12 Skoda brush on this. I'm happy with that, that kind of level. It really makes it seem like a very warm uh, summer's day or spring morning or whatever. So, but we've got some other trees just in front. So I'm using the same mixture and because we're we're going over that back mixture and we lighten that as it came down. This seems stronger now, you see it's got a good contrast to it. So we can do that part there. Well, and we can do the same here. We'll put some more trees at that area here. There you go. That's all you really need to do for that. And it just shows, it tells the story of that, 
there are trees just at the back of this house. Now then, let's put some detail in the foreground here. So I like a nice bluey colour for this. So and let's just do this. Blue there. And I'm going to add a bit of the Rose Opera over there. Just to this area here. Might even put a bit of yellow in this actually. Just a little bit of yellow, just at the bottom there. I want lovely bright colours for this painting. I want it to contrast and make people think, oh that's lovely and bright. So, we do lovely contrasting colours. Lots of like pastel kind of colours as well. See there, a bit of the blue colour there, like a violet colour actually. Now, when we wink those together, um, just bring those up there, under the eaves. I've got some characters I'll be putting in there, I'll lift out any paint, rather than carefully trying to paint around them. I'll just lift out certain bits. So I'll have a bit of yellow here. And a bit of this blue colour with a bit of upper rose in between. And just blend those together. Okay. I'm leaving big spaces here because these are for where I'm going to put some big bushes and some trees in the foreground. And I think a bit of orange on that one. And we're going to go down to this side. It's in shadow because it's the sun's come from that angle, isn't it? So I'll we'll just bring this card down here a little bit. Leave some breaks in it, that's alright. Right. Move that around there. Don't want it too shut off. Right, let's leave that tip to dry. Day! Now we've done second stage. Now that's the first stage. It's like when we get dressed in the morning, put our underclothes on first, and we that's the back part on this bit here. Then we put our, our normal clothes on, our trousers, and our, or our skirt, or whatever we, we, we put on there. And we'll put a bit more, more on there. Final part is when we put our jewellery on. So, our watches and all that kind of stuff. So, the next bit we're going to do is I think we should just put some bits of detail in the back of there. So, I'm using the same mixture again that I used for these things and just with the very, very tip of the brush, just bring some just inferring that these have got some great big branches and and along up there these will be barely visible but the eye one will just notice it subconsciously and I'll tell you that these are trees and the same over here Boom, 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 boom. See, it's all very, very easy. And that's a bit stronger now for this part. In fact, I'm going to mix a little bit of a stronger mixture now for this. And 
it will dry darker than these things here. There we go. Right, I think that bit's fine. Now we'll put a little bit of bit of jewellery on these things. So I'm making a mixture of this French ultramarine, this rose opera, and a little bit of Payne's grey. I think on this bit, a little bit of Payne's grey. Right. So I'll just put some details here. I'm just on these top of these chimney pots just at the top there just at the top some shadows in here and at the bottom of these eaves and just at this side part here I'll just go at the bottom of that eave there and the top there be very careful with my finger, eh, not to go in any painted bits. Alright, and just under there. And we'll do the same over here. We'll have some shadow at this area. Now, let's get some shadow detail in the front of these houses here. So I'm going to make a nice mixture of, of that blue colour again. It's almost like a purple colour to be honest with you. And I'm going to bring this down. It's like the sun's rays are shining along this side. And again over here, undo thieves. In fact, we'll go all the way along here now. Okay. Nice. And a little bit slapdash as well. Just give it a bit of lo looseness. There's nothing worse than seeing a picture that's been really contrived and really very detailed like that. You've got to let your hands are a little bit, be a little bit loose and you find that it pays off dividends, it really does and we'll just have a little bit of this over here as well ok, alright, now then let's get a bit of water at the bottom there just to soften these edges along here right, see how now we get in there, now we get in there. So, all this bit's dried now. Now here's where we can start putting our bits of jewellery in. Our dressing up bit. Right, I'm going to add a little bit of blue now to that mixture of um, Upper Rose and Ultramarine and um, Payne's Grey. So it's a real dark colour. So. 
think what I'm going to do is get a little square brush. <coughs> that little square brush. A one of those things. Cheap and nasty. But they're great for this little job here. So I'm going to just get a mixture. I'm going to get a mixture of cobalt blue. Not very strong, but just a little bit and just bring it over some of these areas here. <laughs> Go on there. That's it. Let's quickly dry them. Should do. Now, with that colour, where was I? Well, that's what I did first, so I'm just going to drop four little windows in there. Where you you missed out, and you just pop it back in. Now, put it go away. Yeah. And it's almost like drawing with your tip of your paintbrush. It's a great thing about these paintbrushes. And I'm gonna try with this one. This is a a porch. Now we've we'll got a bit of orange there. Just to differentiate the top from the bottom. It'll probably run down, but that's okay. Right. <coughs> and we'll put a bit of a shadow. Now then, what we need to do is get these beautiful bushes involved here. So I'm going to, here, I think we want a lovely yellow. It's cadmium yellow, this. Lovely and strong colour. Now mix a bit with the orange. How about this side there? green one over here like a big bush and then we'll bring that over there like that bring this over to the back of there Let's rub it down, let's have it looking over in front of that window a bit. There we go. Right, and I think we'll have a lovely green brush here too. I'm going to add a bit of orange to this now. Just to change that colour up a little bit. Tone it down. Right. While that's drying, let's get our little characters in, shall we? Right, upper rose with a bit of yellow. 
nice mixture together and we've got some skin colours. Just a bit of colour here. There we go, just block that in there. That's okay, that's okay. And a little dog. He's having a little run around. There we go. Now, we'll leave that all to dry first. So now we're going to start putting a few shadow details in here. Now I'm going to make a nice mixture of that purpley colour. I like purple as a, sh as a shadow colour. Right. There's too much that. Under all the eaves now and just shape around the top of these windows it just enhances that the, the, um, the shape of the windows right. a little bit of detail down there Oh, little bits of detail here, there and everywhere. Some shadow behind this bush. And we'll put that down. It's the shadows that fetch it all together, right at the very end. around that area really. I was going to go around the windows but I don't think it's necessary. I'm just that's a little bit of shadow around these bushes now. Right now next thing is to put bit of depth into these bushes now so I'm going to use a little bit of olive green here for the green brushes a bit more water in that Some different shapes in there you see like that and the same with this green bush here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this yellow brush 
I'll make sure of red and orange for that. And that one there. A little bit more red. Right, now then, this part here, I'm going to put a, little, a few a few shapes in here of, let's maybe add a little bit of, what have we got, where's my bushes, um, yeah, I'll put a little bit of grassy, grassiness, so, different colours. Terry Harrison special effects brush. It's just basically a very thick fan brush. It's perfect for things like this. Um, I'm picking up bits of orange and bits of green and just Mixing them together on the brush, really. Let's have a bit of dark here as we get to the bottom. And I find that when you get the closer you get, the darker your pigment should be. Just gives a sense of balance, I think. Oh, yeah. There you go. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a shadow here for these characters. There you go. Put those over there. Let them blend into that shape. So there you go, that is uh, nice and simple, but very effective, and it would go nice on anybody's wall, that. So thank you very much for watching, um, and, and look out for the book that's coming out soon. Thank you, bye.